Howdy everyone, this is Greg Kev. So we're going to do some KSP. This is KSP uh, probes before crew. Uh, we currently have a mission. It's been so long since I played this. Do we have? I have not accepted the contract, but there is a contract available. And I've been talking about it to build a space hotel for a while now. So we got to have some ports. Uh, we got to have data parts. We got to have data transmitters, at least four. We have to have docking nodes, at least two. I have to have a crew capacity of 50. This is going to be kind of a big one for us um, to try and achieve that. And then an electrical charge of at least 20,000 units. Uh, but big payout for reputation as well as um, for our uh, money. So, um, yeah, I, this is probably going to be... I don't even know if we're going to launch it. You're going to probably see a lot of designs, uh, and we'll see how much that time that takes. It'll be fast-forward stuff, which I'll later voice over. Uh, so future Greg Giff will probably be joining us here in a bit. I just want to kind of run with you through some stuff. So um, just basic, not really designed for living space, except for maybe possibly this one. Um, options. This one's a two. This one's a four crew capacity. Um, one crew capacity, one crew capacity. Uh, if we do look at those PDL parts, though, there are some bigger ones. We have uh, another... These are the interconnects. Uh, two, two, um, that's connector, one. And here's the bigger parts. Three, three, and six. So if I look at this one, we can then make it enabled, and it looks kind of like that. And uh, we get a little puffed up thing. So oh, I was thinking of doing something similar to this. So, okay. So yeah, now we can then take this and, yeah, it's not going to let us side mount it. But we could build, anyways, what I, you know, this is 18, so then we need to, what, that's close to 20. So we need another Three would give us 60, and thereabouts, minus, yeah, 54. Um, I think that's roughly right. So we'd have 54 uh, living capacity available. Uh, and uh, so that's kind of one idea I've got going. Uh, there's other ways to do this, but um, basically we're going to jump here to uh, time lapse. I'm going to play around with some parts and see if I can build something that looks decent. Uh, then from there, we'll um, look at ways of getting the modules. So once I've got basically the layout I want, whether it's um, three of these, then we have to solve the um, how do we get food. So we need our life support here. And do we do pull it? Uh, well, not that one because that's too big. Uh, do we put a supply container? And do we do a supply container per cargo? Do we do battery per cargo? Do we do, um, do 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 we do a big supply container that's uh, dockable and we can then pull that off and then put that back, kind of module? Because that's what I got to figure out right now. Uh, so, all right. Well, I think I've uh, talked a little bit enough right now, kind of give you an idea here. So, I'm going to shut up and start building, and then we'll, uh, like I say, we'll jump to a fast forward here. Hey, this is Future Greg. If so, we made it to the fast forward. First thing I want to say, wow, uh, I'm a little rough. It's been a while since I've done recording, so um, bear with me here. If you haven't watched my Minecraft stuff, I've had some issues with my computer. This right here is just one of the many issues which has been keeping me from recording. When I go to play Kerbal Space Grabgram or this particular instance or um, RPI, I just have some weird stuff happening. And so here I'm trying to duplicate this particular module. And, uh, I can get it to go 2x. I can't get it to go 3x or 4x, which is what I want. I'm currently looking for 4x here. It just fights me and fights me. So uh, the idea here is I was hoping to have the center part of that. Then we come off with it with modules. So 
and bounce around here a little bit and I just eventually have to end up going all the way back out try playing with keyboard settings if you've ran into this let me know it's really weird uh, in Linux the binding is changed but I'm playing on Windows so I don't know why it was just being weird other than I'd, I'd loaded it earlier to go to do some recording and got distracted by Reddit. Uh, and again, I apologize for kind of the ADHD of this. It's been a while since I recorded and getting that focus to put out 30 minutes of content uh, can be a little bit daunting. So there's a lot of ums and ands and stuff. So we're back. Uh, and it suddenly starts working and it has no issues. It lets me do 4x. So we do 4x. I can uh, copy parts and everything's working great. So uh, here I notice, no, this is not going to work at all. The habitats are way too close. I pull that off and I think, well, why don't we try a structural piece? And I was really hoping for like an I-beam or something, uh, but I see the little uh, box there and this is far enough out. And I go, okay, well, that's nice, but they're not going to be able to transfer between the the units. I also realize at this point I could do 6x and save on modules uh, because I'm, I'm thinking at this point I'm going to launch the stuff on the outside uh, separately from the middle core section. So also at this point, uh, this is probably where I go off and I start calculating how many of these pods do I actual, actually need. Yeah, sure enough, this is overkill. So I only need eight pods roughly. So and then I'm going, well, if I need eight, it's 8.3. Uh, if I, And so I was looking at what other ones to use. This is also at the point where I thought, well, it needs to be a little bit more realistic and I couldn't get the the units to work correctly there, so I had to take it apart. And this is where it starts to take shape for the final form. I decide, you know, if we're going to do this, let's do some science. Let's add a few more little itty-bitty modules here to, to pad that uh, capacity. And then I start thinking about the charge and how to put the batteries. And I really like this idea of having the batteries on the exterior modules because then if I really need to, I can always launch an updated module which will then have better batteries or better food and I can just take the one off, drop it out into space. But the core of things that I need um, are, are there. Uh, I should never need to change the science module. I will put a hitchhiker's storage tank here for exercise capabilities. And this is where I go in to check and I notice, okay, here's some issues there. I need to fulfill these needs. And so the one that was easy, I was like, oh yeah, I would never put on antennas for phone home. So now I add those little antennas, I get phone home. I check out the all alone. I add four people there and yep, sure enough that they're all happy. Uh, and then at this point I go, okay, what do I need for the exercise one? Oh, I need a hitchhiker module. So I'm out here checking the a wiki to find out that uh, bit and for the most part I think I've hit all the needs one we'll find out here in just a bit is the greenhouse um, to have stuff growing I'm gonna need to add a greenhouse so I go out to the science center and grab uh, some science here in a bit I unfortunately don't have the 550 or the 2 million um, simoleons or whatever the money is. I've never figured out what the money is called in this. Uh, Two million uh, money needed to do that. The other thing I need is a gravity ring. So to fix all the environment stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm getting closer. And now I'm going to change back to past me. Okay, well this is Greykith. And... <laughs> This is somewhat what I'm looking at. Uh, we're going to change the um, the photovoltaic panels uh, location when we do that. But these modules will be able to be launched um, individually. I need to figure out how I'm going to split up this column. Because uh, I believe I'm going to launch this stuff individually. And then launch 
this stuff individually. So um, basically you'll end up with these smaller ones that can just be launched from this little module here and then you'll have this one uh, and then this will attach to that somehow. I don't know if I want to do... I also have the Clampatron Junior Docking Station uh, which is really small and hard to work with. Uh, I may see if I can launch this entire column. I think I have with everything attached. I have enough for a hunt uh, for f the meet the 50. I haven't actually looked to see. Oh come on, please behave. You'll see in the playback footage. Um, I just I had, was having so much problems. I end up having to um, go out and back in. Um, I still have some things to work out. You you'll notice also in the playback footage I was trying to meet all these things to find out um, what we're and another item we were missing in the middle stack here is the greenhouse uh, which I just purchased. So hopefully, yep, hydroponics module module. I think we'll just put it on the bottom of this habitat right here. And then that should hopefully... No, it says none producing. What do we need to turn on here? Greenhouse enabled. Okay, and that'll give us 16 years and we're going to produce um, food through that. So, some of the stuff... Oh, electrical charge is only 51 years... or 51 seconds. We'll have to look at that as well as... We haven't met our storage requirement. Um... I was looking at just uh, putting little stacks of batteries here until I reach that, and it looks like we're going to need a lot more of those stacks. So we just do... There we go. So there's 20,000. So then I need to add enough um, uh, solar cells. I'm kind of limited on my solar cells. I don't have any big giant arrays right now. All I have is the um, 1x6 in both varieties and the 3x2. So... Um, whether I want to re-enter with these or not, uh, it's probably going to be the 1x6, or we send up fuel cells, and I do have quite a variety of fuel cells um, available, and so that one will produce 14, this one will produce 2, uh, I've got a carbonite generator here, uh, I'm not getting any more info on that, but I could look into see what kind of electricity properties that has. And we just ship up carbonite or uh, hydrogen and oxygen as needed. Here's a huge carbonite generator. Um, and I need a carbonite tank here. So now it's saying four minutes. Uh, it's still showing produces zero though. So it's not the... Uh, this version of Kerbalism doesn't work with carbonite. Um, so I'd have to look into um, into that and see what we could do. Um, yeah. Uh, all in all, though, I think this is kind of the basic design. Um, whether I what we end up with power generation, whether we do you know spam solar cells or something like or um, solar panels, uh, or do a generator based system, but I think this is the overall look of the hotel. So. Uh, Hopefully y'all are enjoying this. <laughs> Been a little bit for me to figure it out. And, um, yeah, we got to build a little tug probably at some point too to uh, latch onto these and then push them into the correct spot where we need them. Um, overall weight, let's see how big we're getting so far here. Yeah, we're only to 62 tons, so not horrible. Um, we can definitely get... Uh, not all of this in one shot, I don't think. I think we could build a rocket to get it all in one shot, but we could. Cool. Okay. Uh, got a little distracted there. So, um... Yeah, I think, actually, now I just said everything. I think I'm gonna, uh, cut this episode right here short. We'll see what it ends up as, and upload it. And give me some feedback, what you guys think. Uh, what can I do better? I know that unlocking another 600, or what was it, 550 science uh, for the gravity ring, that's what I definitely could do better. Um, there's a lot better modules in the next step up. 
and um, I might hold off for those because there's 12 capacity modules, which would make this thing so much more compa compact. We could be like 12 and 12, 24 right there, um, and then, well, I, I don't know if these rings are really an issue, um, but actually we wouldn't even need, we'd just take out one of these modules because we could be 12 right there. Anyways, lots of math there. I need roughly eight of these. Uh, it's 8.3. Um, so if I had two of them in one module here, it would be a 12. Uh, that would that would work as well. So, all right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, like I say, it's going to be a lot of time lapse. It's going to be a lot of stuff that Future Great Gift says. Um, hopefully it's entertaining. Uh, this is Great Gift. Have a great day.